Hey guys, look at Jazz Tutorials. Alright, so this week I'm going to be showing you how to create um, skin tone. Um, like, touch up your skin tone on your photo. So, um, um, this photo here, I chose a photo with a really light skin tone. Um, just so I can show you the effect better. Um, <laughs> probably not the best photo, but it's the best I can find to show this photo the outcome more um, awesome like I guess you could say alright so open your photo now keep in mind as I've said before um, certain photos will have different outcomes um, and that's just the way it's gonna be your photo may not be as light as mine yours might be darker than mine who knows but um, this is a, a surefire where I had to make your photo more tan or skin tone darker alright so open your photo um, like this and uh, immediately duplicate the layer by doing control J or command J now, um, what you're going to do is on this one, the copy layer, you're going to immediately change that to overlay. Now, you will automatically see a big difference. It will brighten the photo a bit, um, and that's all right. You kind of want that, so leave it that way. Um, and then what you're going to do, you're going to add a new layer above that. And with that new layer, you're going to select a color hue of the image of your, of your girl's layer. So, um, use the eyedropper tool and just select a random image. I'm going to use the color that's already been selected here, um, because it looks really good, so select that and then click OK. And then you're going to do an alt backspace or command back or backspace and you're going to change, fill that layer with that color that you've chosen. Alright, alright. So, once you've filled it with that, you're going to change that layer to color burn. Now as you can see we've now darkened the layer but what you've also noticed is you darkened her hair and not just the skin. So for that we're going to fix that and only darken the skin you're going to go over to your eraser tool right here that's below the brush tool if you didn't know it above the gradient tool if you didn't know that. Alright select your brush layer and select a large brush of size that would suit your photo um, let's see, I'm going to use a larger brush, and make sure it's a soft round brush, not hard, because that will destroy the effect in a way. Alright, 93px it is then. Alright, and then you're just going to erase the hair and the parts of the photo you want to keep that aren't skin. So, just go around the photo, doo -doo -doo. Now, this one here is a little tricky because part of her hair is on her skin, so we're just going to have to get rid of that a little bit, sort of, kind of. Alrighty, so there you have it. You have her hair um, all masked out of that. It's not part of the image anymore. And you kind of want to get rid of the background of it as well, so just go over it. So that way you have only have the skin is the only thing that should have the color, the filled color on it. Alright, so that's it. Completely it. Alright, so then what you're going to do with that, now if you feel like this photo, um, is a little bit too light um, you can also go here and change the opacity but I don't think you'll need to do that but you might depending on your photo alright now once you've done that um, if you like the way it looks then you can leave it that way or if you feel like you want to really really boost up the tan look on it go back to the layer one copy and go to image and adjustments and adjust the brightness and contrast and rather than going upward on the brightness, you're going to go further down. So go like that. And immediately you'll see it's tanner, and you'll want to adjust the contrast to suit the photo. Alright, now that right there looks a bit too tan in my opinion, so I'm just going to make it go a little further up. Like I think right there looks about good. That's about where I think it should be. Okay. So you can adjust that there, and then if you need to, you can go and zoom in a bit and use the eraser tool, and if you need to, erase the eyelids or um, the mouth, which I'm going to do currently, just like that. Yeah. Alright, and uh, that's basically it. There, um... 
you could go, um, you could really, that's, that's the easiest way possible I found to create a skin tone effect like that. I'm sure there are multiple ways of doing it, but this was just the easiest way I found in doing it. But hey, if you know of a better way to do it, then do it your way. But this was my way, and hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, I'm not sure if it was or not, because everybody is their own critic, so I know some of you hate my videos, and that's fine. I don't really care. I just put them out for those that like them and those that want them. So if you don't want them, that's fine. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Later.